Uh, hey, I'm just gonna show everybody, mostly beginners, some simple stuff to get started with on Blender 3D. Uh, open Blender, you can just minimize this window, gotta leave it open or Blender won't run. Okay, uh, this is your basic screen, everything's default here, what you always start with. Got a cube, a camera, and a lamp or a light source, you know. Uh, Alright, let's say you want to just, you know, you want to just move around. Push the middle mouse button and just move your mouse around and you can see everything in 3D view. Um, if you're on a laptop, come up here, bring this down, press system and open GL and then emulate numpad. If you're on desktop, you don't have to do that. Uh, once you've done that on a laptop, you just press 1 to look at everything from the front, 3 for the side, and 7 for the top. If you're on a desktop, you can just use a numpad. Um, yeah, let's just go over some real simple hotkeys pretty quick here. Um, say you want to delete this cube, you just uh, select it, you right click, and it selects things, it highlights them in pink. So now I have the cubes uh, selected, highlighted, uh, I just press either X or delete and then click and it gets rid of that object. Uh, if you want to bring it back and decide you didn't want to delete it, this works for just about anything, you can press Control Z and that's undo, a lifesaver. Uh, you can do the same with lighting, cameras, anything, X or delete, either one will work. Uh, maybe you want to change the size of this cube you can press S for size or scale uh, and just move around if you decide to cancel this right click and if you decide to go through with it you can just uh, left click it'll stay like that uh, again if you want to you know change it back to the way it was undo control Z um, if you want to rotate the cube, press R, you can rotate it. Uh, if you rotate from the front, it rotates only on this axis. Uh, if you rotate from the side, it rotates from a different axis, and the top, a different axis. Uh, kind of keeps things a little more neat and clean if you do everything from one view until you really know what you're doing a little more had a little more practice. Uh, if you want to zoom in and out, it's scroll, scroll in to zoom in, scroll out to zoom out. Um, if you want to move the cube, you can press G for grab. Uh, just move it around from any angle. Uh, again, if you do it from different views, it's a lot simpler when you just first start off. You can snap things to different places. If you hold control while you're doing things, it works the same for scale kind of snaps things in place, rotate, snaps, uh, makes it a little cleaner in case you want something to look more perfect. Um, if you want to start all over, like let's say I've deleted some things and I've done a project, just press Control X and it'll take you back to your default screen. Uh, but you have to come up here and do this if you're on a laptop again, emulate numpad until you tell it otherwise. Uh, if you want to save your project, what you've done, go to File, Save As, and uh, put in you know, a name. Tutorial 1 is what I'm going to call this. And you find a directory to put it in. Uh, the two dots move up a folder, just find somewhere. I put mine on my desktop usually. So put in the name once you find your directory and click Save As then you can go into that and double click on the icon and it will take you back to your project at any time so uh, those are just some really basic uh, things so I'll go over some better stuff some more complicated and a lot more things next time so just comment tell me what you'd want to see or uh, if this helped you make some suggestions whatever uh, I am from Tennessee so sorry about the accent that's too heavy. Uh, see you next time, I guess.